in india at the moment option sellers are making more money than buyers will this continue 10 years down the line or option sellers makes more money than buyers in matured markets like us or uk see the first thing is the option buyers does make money so it is not that only option sellers are making money or option sellers are making higher money even option buyers are also equally making higher returns than option sellers but the number of people who are making profits using option buying system is very very less because it is really hard to you know become profitable using an option buying system on the long run most of them are doing it on a wrong way a wrong approach most of them it's they are like okay i have seen a huge market up move or huge market down move on expiry day i could see this 2 rupee option going to 20 rupees or 200 rupees so option buying gives so much of return so let me try it out let me try this zero or zero game so these are complete no uh, nonsensical approach with respect to option buying so that is the reason that most of the option buyers are not able to make money but when you have a clear cut design no defined strategies which there is a possibility to make money with option buying as well option selling people think that it is much easier because you know the straddles and strangles the backtest is made easier now and you know, people start to believe that okay simple system start working and more people started getting into option selling right now because of the stability of the returns so option buying there is no stability there but overall it can give you higher returns so that is the difference between this option sellers and option buyers we tend to think that option sellers are more but they cannot be so sure that no only option sellers make more money option buyers definitely make higher returns as well and with respect to the next questions will this continue 10 years down the line definitely nobody knows because nobody has ever thought that no like when i started trading in 2008 or 9 there was this instrument called mini nifty was there and there was this bank nifty few i mean nifty futures was there there was not even bank nifty futures back then and then slowly bank nifty futures was there if you go and check in top 20 contracts traded in nse nse gets posted that link every day so before weekly options it was always like before when i started it was always mini nifty futures which was having highly you know highest top contract traders was mini nifty futures then it was nifty futures and then it was bank nifty futures followed by nifty futures after the introduction of weekly options now the top country you no know, top 20 contracts traded is always bank nifty options followed by nifty options and then only futures so after the introduction of weekly options everything got changed and we never know what's you no know, 10 years down the line is going to happen so anything could happen there could be some other instrument that could come into play or probably currency options could gain more tractions so we never know what's going to happen. 